Hello, ladies, gents, and the vengeful spirits rattling my furniture. We return to the wonderful task of getting to the top of the daily challenge. Leaderboard, maybe not the greatest success rate of all time. Maybe uh, one of the more humiliating tasks that I set for myself in the entire history of mankind. But I am determined. There was a, <laughs> a disgusting terrible doubter in the comments saying wonder how long he'll last until he gives up first of all how dare you talk about talk about me in the third person when i still i i do read every single comment i may not respond to everything that you put out there but i see you and i you can talk to me in the second person you don't have to talk among yourselves like i'm not there i'm right there in the comment section spying on what the hell you're saying it's just a matter of, you know, the time that I have and how I spend it. This this mo this mole is pissing me off. I hate it a great deal. Uh, if I piss off the shopkeeper, I may regret it terribly for the time being. So we're going to do it. <laughs> because of the alternative. Eh, let's do, maybe see if we can get away with this key retrieval. Put it where it belongs. I see where you're t talking about me. You don't need to. You, need, you can address me directly. Thank you very much. I will not give up. This is a, a three year long commitment. It's totally going to happen. Uh, well, I guess we're throwing the key down there. And probably the shopkeeper is going to chase me down and murder me. But first, we need to take care of this piece of garbage. You actually can get out of there. You're a pain in my ass. Piece of trash. You're going to get out of there and you're going to be a massive annoyance in the future. May even be my death. All right, bud. You're going you're going to comply with my wishes. No, you need to look this way. That is some kind of something. Okay, you you got to how about you go down the steps? You're now stuck over there. We have somehow swapped places. I did not flee the way I was supposed to. He can get all, all the way up here. I really should just murder him at this point. I have basically made my bed and I need to own it and lay on lay in it. Or I could just put a bomb here and uh, get ahead of him. And I'm, I'm sure that he will not chase me and destroy me. Certainly that is not a possibility. Uh, we are completely free of shopkeeper nonsense right now. He is not going to destroy me. Don't worry about it. Put a rope. There is the the way into the Ujarai. There's no reason to grab this idol. That will be kind of stupid. Okay, at the very least, make sure that the shotgun is not accessible. Constantly searching for that shopkeeper. Absolute evil. It is... At our heels, he is chasing me, trying to chase me down. Oh, ah, it's just a, uh, it's just three bombs. We have no interest in it. He may have been caught in uh, cobweb. That pleases me greatly. No, he's right there. All right, let's get out of here. Let's get out. Well, I definitely want all of those things, but I don't want the giant explosion that will inevitably happen if I put myself in a situation where he gets. I lure it to my presence. I am mighty tempted though. Do I want to take this risk? Do I want to go down this path? Take this timeline in which I antagonize this weirdo? And possibly get absolutely wrecked as a result? It is extremely likely that will happen. I'm trying to figure out a way to get him out of there. You know what I'm saying? I only have two bombs though. Put a bomb here. Oh, but he's gonna be alerted by the bomb. No, it's all good. Put a bomb there. That's step number one. Step number two. Let's put a bomb here. Step number three. We need him to go a little bit further. And then we jump up here. If he gets mad, he goes down. I steal his junk. Do I want this power pack? Why not? 
I am undaunted by uh, by the possibility of this man obliterating my anus with this bomb strapped to my back. It's all right. He's he's not going to get out of there. Don't worry about it. We quickly murder this turkey. Yang is not terribly pleased to have uh, heard of the turkey massacre, but it's fine. Because then we come in here, shoot in the mouth, and use his body as an offering to Kali. Uh, do I want the health? I think I just want the... Eh. I was like, uh, I'll just do it like this. Um, put a bomb here. So we can have access to Kali without having to tangle with this scum lord. Don't worry about it. We'll we'll uh, actually make that work. We have only 45 seconds though. Give me something good. We blew up everything. Oops. At least we got some ropes out of it. That's pretty good. Pretty decent. I was hoping that the arrow would not hit his head. Okay, it's all good. Now he will uh, do his thing, go all the way over there. Unfortunately, I think we are going to join the timeline in which I sacrifice this man to Kali. Come on, you can do it. You piece of scum. Maybe I should just leave. Maybe the timeline is the one in which we ignore Kali for the time being, hope for her to show up next. Uh, it, it looked doable, but I was uh, under time constraints. I basically pussied out of it pretty much. Just abandoned that entire, entire intention. Maybe it should go out of my way. To uh, destroy all these bones. Maybe get a key out of it. Woo. No key for me. It seemed pretty likely way back when. We were first discovering all the... Let's just wait. Let's just wait this out. It's, uh, you gotta be patient. Oof. Oh, 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 wow. Oh. Oof, my bad. I was assaulted by terrible back pain. Usually, I get bad, bad lower back pain. Or uh, This is an acute thing. It is not a chronic thing today. It... For some reason, I think it's just the push-ups that I did last night. I did them wrong or something. I don't know. But the left shoulder blade inside, it feels terrible. Sometimes. I go, what the? Huh? <laughs> Brother. Uh, yeah, that's this flunky two-way. Just a lizard at that exit. Derek loves to spawn that lizard right there. And if you don't have microsecond reactions, you will get absolutely obliterated. Anyway, inside that shoulder blade, right, right in the connection, the muscle right there, which is the obliques, the lats, I don't know the, num the name of that muscle. But sometimes, all morning long, it has been like flaring up. I do some kind of gesture with my shoulder and it's like, oh, it is like the same kind of pain that I get in my lower back but over there and uh, I had to interrupt the recording for a little while go walk it off pretty much was I forgiven I completely forget yeah I was because these people are idiots <laughs> right, let me go do some gambling because it's often totally worth it maybe not today but I will absolutely do it so that's why you may get another interruption. I got the pain because I was just adjusting myself in the chair. And I, I used the arm, completely have forgotten that I had that issue today. So hopefully it will not happen again. We'll be a little bit more mindful, more careful. And that's pretty much the main strategy. It's sad. It's basically the Louis C.K. old bit where you go to the doctor, you're 20. You have a slight pain in your knee, and they're like, we're going to reconstruct this whole thing. Don't worry, we'll take care of you. If you are 30 or 40, you go to the doctor, it's like, my knee hurts really bad right now. The doctor's like, yup, that's just the way life is now. Uh, here are some exercises 
for you to do to deal with this. And it's like, oh, this will fix it? No, no, you just, you just do that now. <laughs> that is your life. That is what my life has become. I do back exercises every morning, every single morning. So hopefully it will hurt less during the day. Welcome to getting older. Well, joke's on you. I've had back issues since I was a teenager. It's just not properly built back there. What you want me to do about it? There's nothing I can do about it. Other than cope. Being through so many back doctors. At least three of them. <laughs> and, uh, it's pretty much just a genetic deteriorating issue that... Uh, at, the, at least, at the, for the time being, it's not something that you can operate. It's the, That's a weird thing. Like, doctors will always wait to operate until you can no longer take it. And it's like, how about you operate before it becomes a massive problem that I am in horrible pain about? But that's not how they do. It's like, oh, no, you can go without it. And, you know, it is good policy because... You don't want to go under, you don't want to be in an operating table if you absolutely can't help it. It is rolling dice. No matter how minor the operation, you're still rolling dice. And I guess you can make that argument for pretty much everything in life. That you are rolling dice every time you get into a, a car, go to the grocery shop to get yourself a pack of condoms. But... More so, I would say, getting into an operating table being operated on, getting an IV, and of course, getting anesthetized. Uh, you want to put that off as, as long as possible. It's a good policy, but it also at the same time, it's like maybe you want to do that while while you're young and healthy, as opposed to, uh, well, Ratface got murdered. Uh, young and healthy, as opposed to doing it when you're old and decrepit, and then uh, you may not be able to take the punishment from recover from surgery anymore so you know i could see it either way either way i am uh, deathly deathly terrified you know what this uh power pack needs to go buddy it's just it has been too long attached to my back another gambling area huh? well we once more have an opportunity with cali ah! once more we have an opportunity with cali her unholiness comes back to help we're waiting. We're waiting for the fireman to stop being an issue here. 